What's going on, everybody? It's Sacred Eagle. Welcome to another video and another podcast episode of the Sacred Eagle Podcast. Now, we just talked about wide receivers. We just, or we're about to talk about wide receivers. We just talked about my my feelings about Jalen Hurts and the quarterback issue here in Philadelphia because there's never not a quarterback issue. And I won't even say it's a quarterback issue. It's more so rumors and potential for the Eagles going after somebody else that isn't Jalen Hurts if they don't want to stick with him. Potential is there. What you feel about it is what you feel about it. Check out the other video if you want to talk about it. But this time around, I want to talk about some other positions that the Eagles could look at because there are a lot of them. And this time around, I want to focus solely on wide receivers because, yes, the Eagles need pass rushers. They need linebackers. Oh, good God, we need linebackers. We could use a safety or two. We could use a corner or two. We could use a lot of things, right? Maybe a new punter. Hey, congrats to Jake Elliott for making the Pro Bowl. At least you're something worth keeping. But wide receiver is a need here because if the Eagles had another wide receiver to complement Devontae Smith that's actually capable of doing good things on the opposite side of him, doesn't matter who your quarterback is, you can actually have some really good talent and really good potential and chances of winning football games. There are a lot of names that are being thrown out there, and there are a lot of prospects that the Eagles can look at in the draft. There's a couple that I want to talk about right now because a lot of rumors are being thrown around there. There's a lot of conspiracy theories about tweets being liked and all this stuff going back to college days between certain players. Y'all know who I'm talking about with that one. Calvin Ridley. This was talked about like mid last week, uh, like Wednesday, t- Thursday, whatever. Yeah, there's, you know, History between Hurts, Devontae, and Calvin Ridley. Why? Because they're all Alabama uh, players. Um, And Calvin Ridley liked a tweet, which kind of hinted at the idea of getting the Alabama boys together, giving you the idea that maybe he wants to come to Philadelphia and play with Hurts and Devontae Smith. Would I be opposed to this? Absolutely not. Despite what it might cost to get him, I would be all for it. It'd be a Devontae or... It'd be an Alshon Jeffrey type of situation where you go and get the guy, give him a year on whatever deal he's on, and see afterwards if he likes it, get a deal with him for the future, and keep him for a little while, you know? That'd be something worth looking at because he's a good talent, really good talent, and going up with Devontae Smith, regardless if it's Hurts or not, depending on what happens in the quarterback conversation, but we'll go off the assumption that Hurts is going to be here because he most likely will. That'd be really good to see because J.J. Ortega Whiteside and Jalen Rager are not it. They're not it. We know this as a fact. They are not it. Jalen Rager might buy himself a third year to see if he can redeem himself. J.J. Ortega Whiteside's fucking gone. I don't give. A, I don't care what anybody says or what the Eagles try to spin. If he is still on this roster, when we get close to, when we get to training camp, we're going to have problems. We're going to have problems because he's, he's a, he's a waste. And I saw, I saw a uh, a tweet, DK Metcalf at the link in like what, two or three games in his career, in his young career has like 371 total yards receiving at the link in Philly. I think a white side has like 286 career yards. Let that sink in. That's unreal. Makes you think that maybe we, we drafted the wrong wide receiver. Hey, been there and done that, right? Nelson Aguilar, just to name one other name. And of course, the latest and greatest Jalen Hurt or Jalen Rager over Justin Jefferson. But Calvin Ridley would be a great addition to the team. Definitely would help on the outside. And you're throwing Quetz Watkins into the slot. There's also Christian Kirk, who could go really well on the slot. That could help out Quez Watkins a bit. I saw Joey Shake, shout out to you, talk about that a couple of days ago. DK Metcalf is obviously somebody the Eagles could look into because we don't know what's going to happen with him and Russell Wilson. It's a big toss-up right there, a big question mark as far as what's going to happen with those two in Seattle because those, I don't, Seattle's kind of a, kind of a question, real big question mark right now as far as what's going to happen with, you know, Pete Carroll and all the guys over there. I mean, it's, it's an interesting, I mean, especially with the division they're in. The Niners right now, even with Jimmy Garoppolo playing the way he was playing with all the injuries, injuries he was playing uh, through, I mean, that whole division is stacked right now. 
I mean, you had the first place division team and the third place division team in the championship game and the Cardinals. The Cardinals are still in the mix, despite them being disappointments the past two seasons. I mean, they're still there. So who knows what's going to happen with DK Metcalf? This is a really stupid one that I, I kind of am upset about bringing up. And actually, I want to look it up before I get to the main other guy that I want to talk about. Because this guy happens to be a cowboy. Um, and I don't understand where these rumors are coming from or whatever. But I got to really find it. I saw there was an there was There were a couple articles. I don't know. I mean... There, there was an article, it's tough to find it right now, but there was something about Omari Cooper, you know, potentially being traded because of the past couple of seasons, his numbers have gone down in Dallas. Um, And the Eagles could be suitors. Bullshit. Wherever I saw that, no freaking way in hell that's going to happen. Um, So I just want to toss that out the window instantly. Really stupid stuff right there. But the main other guy that I wanted to talk about, uh, I mentioned Christian Kirk, which would be cool. DJ Chark. Now, I don't know too much about him. I've seen highlights. and He's he's a good talent, 25 years old. Um, he's a pro bowler uh, from 2019. And let me just say, this would be a pretty cool addition right here. 6'4", 210". Uh, pounds drafted in the second round, st 61st overall in 2018. Um, Pro Bowler in 2019. If you look at his stats, if I can find them, here you go. Stats in 2019, his Pro Bowl year, he played only 15 games, 73 receptions, 100 or 1,008 yards, eight touchdowns. But then you see the issue, main issue here. 2020 only played 13 games last year 2021 he only played four games in those four games he caught seven balls for 154 yards and two touchdowns clearly the injuries have been an issue it looks like in 2021 it was revealed that he had surgery to repair a broken finger the injury was not as serious as uh, Chark expected to be ready for the start of the season, but then he suffered a fractured ankle in week four and he was placed on injury reserve. Never played again. Uh, I don't see anything about what happened in 2020 uh, and why he only played 13 of 16 games, but the production in 2020 was still pretty good uh, for 13 games. 53 receptions, 706 yards, five touchdowns. Um, this, I don't want to draw comparisons to Doriel Green Beckham back in 2016. But I feel like there is potential here for uh, DJ Chark if he wants to come to Philadelphia. It would be a pretty good pickup in my eye, in my eyes. But now, draft receivers. There's the one big name, especially after the national championship title game. Um, Jamison Williams from Alabama. Had a really good season. But Torres ACL against Georgia. The Eagles have a history of drafting players despite suffering big time injuries very recently. Look at Sidney Jones. Didn't really work out very well. Landon Dickerson did work out very well. So, would you risk picking up Jamison Williams, whose ACL injury they claim is not that severe, no MCL damage whatsoever, purely ACL tear, nothing more, nothing less. He's expected to make a full recovery and regain that 4.3 speed. Would you risk getting him or drafting him in the first round if he falls to you? You have three first round picks. You can even trade up if you want. I would. I will look into it. I will look into it. I mean, again, the biggest thing that I do stress here is the injury and as well, this is something I've been hearing on the on the radio a lot, and I, I wholeheartedly agree to it. One of the big reasons why we won in 2017 is because we had players who were still in their prime, but were also not rookies or not really young, you know? Alshon Jeffrey was still at the tail end of his prime. Torrey Smith still had a couple of good years left in him. Nelson Aguilar was your youngest wide receiver there. Corey Clement, your youngest running back. Zach Ertz was still there. 
He had other guys behind him. He had veterans. He had veterans who could still perform at a talent at a high level, and that's what won you a Super Bowl. The Eagles right now are a very young football team, at least on the offensive side. Outside of Kelsey Johnson, they are a young football team. While it would be great for us to pick up a young wide receiver like a DJ Clark, like a DK Metcalf, like a Jamison Williams, a veteran wide receiver would be great to pick up. And if the Eagles could, I'd go after Allen Robinson and get him out of Chicago. There's a lot of options. We have a lot of draft picks to play with. This just goes back to quarterback play as well. Who knows what the Eagles are going to do with these picks? Who knows what they can acquire with these picks at whatever position? Who knows what they're going to do in the draft with these picks? It's a lot to look forward to. Who do you guys think the Eagles should go for at wide receiver? What do you guys think the Eagles should do with their draft picks as far as acquiring talent and free agency? Let me know what y'all think. Appreciate you listening. I'll see you all in the next one. We're going to keep talking more Eagles football and more speculation, more rumors, all that stuff. So subscribe if you are new. Peace out, y'all. Stay safe. Fly, Eagles, fly. Let's get to it, man.